everybody, welcome back to some more AC Rope Time, where today I am doing a video I have long awaited to do on top 10 LSU Tigers of all time. Now, I did one of these, but for the Philadelphia Eagles. Alright, so let's get right in. <laughs> Number 10, Donnie Jones. Was an all pro punter for the Eagles. Made it to the, the one at the one Super Bowl with the Super Bowl 52. Um, an extremely useful punter. You ever need to go into the end zone so they don't return for a touchdown? He'll do that for you. You need to go out of bounds and say at the one, he'll do that for you. He can do anything you ask. Coming in at number nine, we have Eris Marshall. Uh, now, this is not the senior. This is Tara Marshall Jr., who recently, I believe, graduated. I'm not sure he might still be there, correct me if I'm wrong, from LSU, and won the national championship with them in 2019-2020 season, uh, just recently now, this past season. And, yeah, that's basically it for him. He was a dominant receiver with them. The best way to force an incompletion with him was to double team with most of their receivers. Um, coming in at number eight, we have Leonard Fournette, an extreme running back for the Jacksonville Jaguars, currently in the NFL. It's dominant. Dominant. I did not include any defensive players. This is our offensive video. We'll do another one for defense. Okay. Is that good? That, that, that's good. That's good. Please don't hate me. Alright. Um, so yeah. One and four net. And coming in at number seven, we have Edward Clyde Edward Delair. Not much to say. You look back at Clyde Edward Delair's season. Hello, Cheyenne. Uh, just look back at his season, and he is an amazing running back. Now into the NFL. Reminds me of Darren Sproles. Honestly, reminds me of Darren Sproles. Like, 5'8", jumps 7 feet. Like, what more could you ask for? Alright, coming in at number 6, I believe we're on. Yes, number 6, we have Thaddeus Moss. Son of a NFL legend, Randy Moss. Thaddeus Moss grew up with football, basically. He was born to be a football player. And the way he plays, he mosses everyone. He takes after his head. So, in the game against Alabama, he gets shoved out of bounds, comes back in, acts like nothing happens, and makes a two catch, like... If this is the out of bounds line, this is his feet. And my thumb is if this is the out of bounds line, my hands the out of bounds line, these are his feet. Gets shoved out, comes back in, this is the ball. He goes a stretch in. At the one. What more could you ask for? In the end zone? Sure. So that covers that. And now into the number five spot. We had to actually have a tie because they could not decide which to go higher. It's basically a top 11, but tight number five. <laughs> Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson tie here. The reason it being legendary receivers in LSU history. Jamar Chase is still there. Well, Justin Jefferson's off to the NFL. These both are legends in NFL history. Going into the NFL's. Well, Jam J Jamar Chase still at LSU, but next year he should, probably might go into the NFL. As he is a soft, as he is now turning to a junior, he's currently a sophomore. But they're amazing. They are legends. Jamar Chase was the number one rated receiver in college football this season in receiving yards and touchdowns. Jamar Chase or Justin Jefferson followed closely behind in each of them. In receiving yards, he was number three. In receiving touchdowns, he was number two. So, you have 
basically two receivers from the same college, both in the top three. I mean, you could say they're the top receivers in college football currently. Or anyway. Um, coming in at number four, Jalen Mills. Currently in the NFL as an Eagles now safety. Uh, strong safety, to be exact. He was great at quarterback. Cornerback. Also known as the Green Goblin. Loves the fans. Loves playing. Excellent at it. Just amazing. Coming in at number three. Top three were very easy for me to decide. Because, I mean, I just, just... Legends. Legends of the Bayou. Two of them born there. One of them born in Ohio. You already know who that guy from Ohio is. I can guarantee most of you do. But coming in at number three, we have a man that was born in Baton Rouge. Born a tiger. And that is Jarvis Juice Landry. Most of you would disagree, but this is my personal opinion. You cannot disagree with an opinion. It is not a fact. But Jarvis Landry was a legend there. He made absolutely insane catches. Just not much to say. If you go back and look at his LSU's tape, he was a legend. And now I'm coming to number two. Kid from Athens. You know him. Went to Ohio State for two years. And transferred to LSU. Not great his senior. It was good his senior year. But became a legend his... Right. He was good. Great his senior year. Or junior year. But became a legend in his senior year. Joe Burrow. Heisman winner. And all around, like... If you, you watch his plays, you're going to be mind blown. You're going to be like, is that even legal? Is that possible? And I'm coming in at number one. This is my personal opinion. I have loved this man. I look up to him as a receiver. I prefer to say I'm a mix of him and Brian Westbrook, former Eagles player. That, that, both of them equal. And then, I'm basically the number one here, plus Tyree Kill, because I'm, I'm like, Fast my school. But plus Brian Westbrook. And if you eat, add all those together, you've got me. Brian Westbrook for elusive. Tyree Kill for speedy. And then number one for the spectacular one handed catches. You already know who I'm talking about. Or you should. I am talking about Odell Beckham Jr. I am talking about OBJ. You know him. If you watch the NFL, you know him. So that's going to be my top 10. Let me know what you think in the comments. Agree or disagree. Um, you know what? Tell me your own in the comments. In fact, feel free to do a video. Just remember to keep the rights to me. Uh, to give you the idea at least. At least put that in the description. Or pin that in the comment section. So, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, don't forget to like. Uh, I'm not going to force you to like anymore. Um, please comment what you think about this video. Um, feel free to like or dislike. I'm not really too affected by that. I take that into my personal own accounts and see what I can do better and see where you guys are coming from. Um, please subscribe so you get uh, weekly content like this. I'm going to be doing weekly, uh, either Sundays or Saturdays. Those are my really only free days. And check out my live streams I'm doing on JR Gaming. I will be posting in the description um, who's doing it. So it's like going to be either JR100 or me doing it. Uh, so now, AC Rope Tide signing off for now. Thanks for watching.